My name is Scoop6, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really quite cool. This is called the Bud Switch. So, the Bud Switch is pretty much like an observer. So, pretty much all you have to do is just like an observer. If you have like uh, the non red side uh, receiving an update from a block, say it's either placing a block or destroying a block, like I'm doing here, it gives one update or one impulse. Uh, per update so I updated it twice it gave twice two impulses so this is just useful if you don't really like using observers and you're kind of using this for like maybe like a wall or something and uh, you kind of want it to be concealed uh, so nobody can actually know where it is and then only you actually know which lamp it is and then you place the block like I'm gonna place here and then it will send a redstone signal to whatever redstone contraption that you have it linked up to. So as you can see, it's it works exactly like an observer, just like this. And uh, it can either be on or it can be off, just like that. As well, I have uh, two actual designs for this uh, bud switch. And they actually use the new target block in 1.16, because that just came out uh, yesterday as I'm recording this. And uh, that's uh, it was pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the redstone behind this build. As you can see, these are the two designs right here, and they are pretty small indeed. But this one is smaller than the other one, and uh, this one could be useful for if you can't actually extend it one block above the actual lights. That is uh, the case. I've built two of them, one longwards and then one upwards. But this is the def definitely the design that you want to go for. And the target block is actually super cool and much needed in this design right here because it actually redirects the current. So as you can see, this current is actually going into this observer, which this redstone lamp actually thinks it's being powered, but since the target block has redirected uh, redstone, it is no longer being powered, so you can go ahead and give it an update. So it's kind of just that cycling back and forth of thinking it's powered or thinking it's non-powered and then constantly changing that state using the target block. So it's super cool redstone contraption. It's useful for a lot of stuff, including secret hideaways and secret bases. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at how to build uh, both designs. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the smaller design, which is probably the best one for you to build but then again if you have some sort of constraint that limits you to build this then I have one more design that will showcase in today's video as well all right let's go ahead and get started so pretty much all you have to do is go ahead and place your lamp wherever it may be uh, I'm gonna say it's in this wall right here this invisible wall that I have right here in my beautiful mansion that goes all the way up and over there so yeah this, this lamp right here now go behind your wall and place an observer facing out from that lamp just like this and an observer facing outwards from that observer and then another observer facing outwards from that observer just like that so you have three observers kind of in this form right here now the last observer that you place will be going into a piston facing downwards and that piston will have a target lock on its face and it has to be sticky so come to this area right here, kind of just adjacent from both of these blocks to create sort of like, I guess it's a triangle. I mean, I guess this would be a triangle. Well, now it's a triangle. So <laughs> place it right here to form this triangle. And then uh, place your, the final step is to place a piece of redstone dust on that redstone block, just like that. So now you can come over to the back side. And then in order for this thing to actually work, you need to place a block right here. And then since nothing happened you need to actually move the target block down to the bottom right here and as you can see it still thinks it's not powered but clearly this redstone dust is actually going into this block which means it's powered and uh, pretty much all you have to do is just put an impulse to the uh, actual light and it will give an output and again if you want to switch this to on the on state then all you have to do is just break and replace a block really fast and then you should get a uh, an on uh, state so yeah this design is probably the the most easy to use and uh, I'm gonna actually be showing you guys how to uh, make a T flip-flop out of this and actually show the how the lamp is on or off 
uh, right now. So pretty much how you do this, uh, so like I had in the example when you have like a redstone uh, lamp down here and it turns on when you uh, have an update, pretty much come out of the first observer and place a block right here, and then place another block right here, add redstone dust on this block right here, then come down to the bottom, place a piston facing towards the lamp, and then add a redstone block, and then a lamp just like this. And then as you can see, if I go ahead and give this power, or give this an imp update, this will spit out and revealing, oh yeah, I'm powered. And then that could be like any single door or whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the more complicated design. All right, the more complicated design is, again, pretty simple. It's not rocket science we're doing here. So uh, pretty much just uh, come behind your wall in your beautiful mansion here. And then all you have to do is place uh, three observers. One, two, three, just like this. And one observer facing in this direction right here. And then that's four observers just like this and now one sticky piston facing towards this uh, lamp right here and then obviously a target block on that pistons face just like this and then uh, pretty much you can just place a redstone block here and then a piece of redstone dust and then you should be good to go so go ahead and place a block right there and then everything should kick into gear and pretty much you can just go ahead and um, do it to your heart's content. And how you do the uh, other redstone lamp part at the bottom like I did at the first tutorial, pretty much just come to the very last observer, or the uh, second to last observer, just like this, place a gray wool right there, and then another block right there, add a redstone dust, so that carries down like this, and then add a sticky piston, and then a block of redstone, and as you can see, it will toggle every single time you give it an update. Alright, so that has been the Bud Switch tutorial. Hope you guys found this interesting. And if you did, then please make sure to leave a like on this video. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. That would be greatly appreciated and helps my channel grow and so I can become a better YouTuber. So thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Mr. Cube 6 and I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, goodbye. And you